Hey everybody, today we're going to be learning about graphical limits in calculus. Let's start by looking at the question, what is a limit? A limit is the y value or height that a function seems like it will reach as x approaches a given value. Here's an example. Suppose we want to find the limit of the function f of x equals 2x plus 1 as x approaches 2. What y value does the function look like it will reach? As x approaches 2, it appears that our function reaches a height of 5. Now let's write our answer with correct calculus notation. We can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 equals 5. When you write limits in calculus, you always have to use correct notation. Let's look at this same problem and show some examples of incorrect notation. The limit of f of x equals 5. Do you see why this is wrong? We forgot to include the value that x is approaching. Lim equals 5. That's just completely wrong. We forgot to say limit of f of x and the value that x is approaching. And finally, the limit as x approaches 2 equals 5. This is incorrect because we forgot to include the function f of x. How about this example? the limit of sine x as x approaches pi over 2. As x approaches pi over 2, our function is headed towards a height of 1. So we can say that the limit of sine x as x approaches pi over 2 equals 1. How about this case? Suppose we have a hole in the graph. What's the limit of f of x as x approaches 2? Note that f of 2 is undefined but the limit is still four because the function looks like it's headed towards a height of four as x approaches two. We also can have one-sided limits. The little minus sign means approaching from the left. The plus sign means approaching from the right. If you don't see a plus or minus, it means approaching from both sides. So in this case, the limit of f of x as x approaches two from the left is four because the function is headed towards a height of four on the left side. The limit of f of x as x approaches two from the right is one because the function is approaching a height of one from the right side. But what's the limit of f of x as x approaches two? Since the left and right hand limits don't match, that means the limit does not exist. And this brings up a very important point in regards to limits. In order for a limit to exist, the left and right limits must be the same. Okay, let's do a practice problem to make sure you understand. Suppose that f of x is the red function shown here. What's the limit of f of x as x approaches three from the left? If you said four, you're correct. What's the limit of f of x as x approaches three from the right? Well, it turns out it's also four. What's the limit of f of x as x approaches three? Well, since the left and right hand limits both match, we can say that the limit equals four. How about this one? What's the limit of f of x as x approaches two from the right? The answer is positive infinity. As x approaches two from the right, the graph approaches a vertical asymptote. But what's the limit of f of x as x approaches 2? Since the left and right hand limits aren't the same, we can say that the limit does not exist. How about this one? What's the limit of f of x as x approaches 6? You can just estimate here since we don't know the exact value. Well, I hope you said something around 1.75. Be careful here. Even though f of 6 equals 7, we have a different value for the limit because the function looks like it's approaching a height of 1.75. So in summary, a limit is the height that a function looks like it's going to reach as x approaches a value. And remember, we have to consider the limits from the left and the right side in order to determine if a limit exists. And that's how you rock calculus. Yeah.